Okay, I'm going to create an 80s style pad sound, something you might have heard in, say, a science fiction film like Blade Runner. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is pull the detuning of each oscillator more closely together. It doesn't matter if they're not perfectly aligned, just as long as they're closer to what's called being in unison or the same pitch. I'll keep the waveforms at sawtooth and I'll leave the intervals of the octaves or the octave range at 32 and 16 respectively. And I'm just going to slightly pull up the higher pitched or higher frequency octave just a little bit more in amplitude. Okay, I'm going to pull the tremolo down on each oscillator because I don't want the amplitude modulating and I'll pull up the frequency of the modulator to 3 and switch it to triangle. I'm going to use this modulator to control or give the filter a bit of movement. Having said that, let's move to the filter. I'm going to set it to closer to around about almost a kilohertz and I'll pull the Q or the resonance down. I'm also going to pull the modulator down. I want to apply the modulator from over here to give the filter frequency or cutoff frequency a bit more movement. Uh, but I don't want it to be too overbearing. And I'm also going to pull the envelope down. Now that I've got the basic structure set up, I now need to determine how it's going to change over time. So I'm going to start with the volume amplitude envelope and I'm going to make it, in essence, a slow attack or relatively slow attack and a relatively slow decay. I'm going to keep the sustain level at slightly below 12 o'clock or about 40 and I'm going to bring up the release time to about a third. I'm going to get the filter envelope and get it to match fairly closely what's going on in the amplitude envelope so the harmonic content changes will match that of the amplitude changes. Pull up the reverb a bit more and pull the volume up a bit more. Okay, let's have a listen. That's not too bad. I might play it in a higher octave range and I'm also going to make sure that my modulator is up a little bit more and my envelope's down a little bit more. I'm also going to get it a bit more of a cutoff, slightly more of the cue. Let's have a listen to it now in that higher octave. Okay, so it's got a bit of movement to it, which I like, uh, and it's also got a bit of development in terms of that harmonic content. Again, you can play around with the settings and modify them to taste, but this is just a simple example of how to create a fairly basic 80s style pad sound. So now I'll export that out. To do that, I simply click the record button down here and play something. Once it's finished playing, I turn off record and I click the download button. Okay, I can now open that in Audacity. Make a copy and I'll just trim it down a bit. Let's have a listen. Okay, that's pretty good. There's a bit of flutter in there, which I probably would go back and tweak. But other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with that outcome. 